We got two of the cleanest bundles in the store right now. That being the Shredder Tracer Pack and the Bone Chiller Tracer Pack. And we're we getting them both today. So first things first, let's take a peek at the new Shredder Bundle. First, we obviously have the Operator here, which looks pretty good to me. The, the metal on this is amazing. The whole outfit they did looks great. It looks fantastic. And this is probably going to be one of my favorite Operators here. I'm probably going to have this on for a bit. Any extras we get with it is the KV Broadside. This actually looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to use the KV Broadside too often, but if I do, I got a nice little blueprint for it. You can see it has his logo here near the mag. It has those red accents everywhere. Another logo over here. And with the gold as, as the inner workings on the metal, this just looks really good. And for the Tracer Impact, it has red and the Claw Slash Impacts. And for the Death Effect, it has Claw Thrash Flurry. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. And then here we have an ISO Hemlock. This looks like an ADS build almost. And it does say it's made for sprint to fire speed and in down sight speed. This looks really nice. Again, we have the logo here like black with the silver and red accents with a little bit of gold sprinkled in. This is a really good looking weapon. And that's not it. We get another weapon here. We get the dual Kodochis or Kodachis, however you want to say it. I can't pronounce anything right. So take what I say with a grain of salt, but. This is a really cool blueprint for the weapon. I don't know why it just went vertical, but while it is vertical, let's take a look at the handle. It has his logo here with the matte black and the silver on it with the red outline. This looks really good. And then here on the blade, it has that red indent. I think this is probably going to be the best uh, blueprint to come out for the Kadochis. I don't know how you can do this any better. We also get a tank variant, which is all silver with red accents. It looks pretty cool, but I don't know how often I'm hopping in a tank in this game. There's also a finishing move that comes with it that we can't even see before buying it which is kind of lame on their part but we'll be checking that out and they made a charm for my clan we got foot clan hold on look at this i'm in feet clan already it's like they made this for me there's also a slash mark large decal that you can put on your weapons and the shredder emblem this actually looks pretty cool so let's go ahead and pick this up bring that on over and the other bundle we're looking at today is the bone chiller this is probably one of the coolest skins they've added into the game i've seen some complaints that this is kind of like the nuke skin and they just toss in different things on there me personally i think it looks pretty cool and let's take a little bit of a closer look at it so we got the whole black outfit here i think it looks really nice the gold accents it very nicely it really stands out on it and you can't really see it too well but he does have a golden pistol here on his chest. I think that looks pretty cool. And he's got his little cape and his hood. This is probably one of the better operator skins that they've added into the game. On top of that, we have the Skullbreaker M4. This is a pretty normal M4. And then we look over by the mag and there's a full skull on it. I think that's the big appeal of this. It has its gold accents everywhere else, but the skull is definitely the main attraction of the weapon. And the other weapon that comes with this bundle is the Tempest Torret that also has the skull here by the mag. That is a huge part of this bundle. The weapons they've tossed into this bundle look really really good Th this skull is a huge selling point for me it also has the foul fate finishing move that we'll have to see in game can't preview at all which is you know come on activision let's get that done we have the golden jaw charm here which is going to look great with any golden weapon that you have but especially good with the ones that come in this bundle we have the ghost large decal here i'm sure this will look great on a lot of weapons especially some of the solid color camos we have death payment emblem looks pretty cool not my favorite but it's definitely flashy and we get a loading screen added on here which looks pretty okay uh, not my favorite thing well, let's go ahead and pick it up and now we have two of the coolest packs in here let's see what they look like in game the first things we're gonna be looking at is the shredder bundle and all the stuff default and then i'll show what the camo's on and everything but this is our kv broadside as you'll notice the red dot on it is actually his logo which i think is a very nice touch but here's what the kv broadside looks like in game as you can see very nice uh definitely not as flashy as some other bundles that i've seen but it fits the character well and i think him holding the weapons in game seeing the claws the claws don't block too much but they just look nice when you go to inspect this is what the iso hemlock from the bundle looks like pretty nice uh i don't think i'd be using this too much but if i would i have a nice blueprint for it and the laser on this is his logo as well but it's an ads laser you can only really see it when you aim down so unfortunately it's not an optic on the site and it's just how the laser projects but it's still pretty cool and the last weapon that comes with this bundle is the dual kadochis here's what they look like in game they look super super nice these are almost like a, a dark saber from star wars and the default stance for holding them in game is beautiful it shows off the gauntlets on the actual operator skin one little problem though is the glove is kind of poking through over here uh, on the right hand but besides that if we ignore that they look pretty good this is just a really nice weapon selection i will honestly would have been disappointed if he didn't have the kadoshis in here now here's what the tracer rounds look like on the broad side oh they're all red and they do leave slash marks in there that's actually really cool the marks they leave on the wall are so 
sick. It, instead of just the bullet holes and the little splash that comes off of it, the, the little red slashes staying there is a nice touch. And now let's see what the death animation looks like. Uh, I don't know if I could really tell too much there. I kind of just look like the, the little red slash is appearing for a second and they just kind of fell over. Not as flashy, but it definitely leaves a mark. Let's try it one more time. Just see if it activated. Oh yeah, I guess it kind of goes throughout the body. Little red flashes. It happens quick. Like blinking, you'll miss it, but it's still pretty decent. The hemlock is going to have the same kind of tracers on it, but the slashes are a lot bigger, more pronounced here on this weapon. And that just looks really nice. It's two slashes on the outside of the bullet holes. That's sweet. And is the death animation a little more visible with the hemlock? Uh, yeah, a little bit, I'd say. That's pretty cool. It makes body spraying look a lot better. Holy. That is awesome, actually. So if you're you're into BMing people and you want to body spray them, you can actually see the claws coming out of his body when you shoot it. That's insane. That is really sick. And just to check the melees, I can't remember if in the bundle it said there was tracers to it. I don't think there would be for melees, but let's see if it leaves a decent mark on here. Looks like it doesn't even leave a mark on the walls or the floor. But does it leave marks on players? Eh, there's a little bit of blood there, but I don't know if that was already a thing. And it definitely doesn't do the claw thing like our M4 did or the, the Hemlock did. And just see if the broadside still has that same animation that the Hemlock did? Oh, it definitely does. A lot of more claws coming out here. And look at all the blood that it spread. That's ridiculous. A little smoke coming off too. This is so sweet. Very gruesome though. That's ridiculous. Now that we've seen all the weapons from the bundle, let's see what the finishing move looks like. Okay. Slicing out the Achilles and slice in the neck. That's pretty sweet. And he does it with the Kadoshis. That's awesome. This is actually a really cool bundle. I like this a lot. And really quick, let's show off the weapons with a few camos on it. This is what the KV broadside looks like with gold on it. This looks pretty decent. Basically a gold KV broadside. You can see some of the accents are... are remnants of the blueprint on here like you can see a little different textures if you look closely the main thing that sticks out here is his logo the red shredder logo on there yeah, it's pretty decent but i think i'd probably just keep it default instead of having gold on it this is what the iso hemlock looks like with gold on it it's basically the same thing as with the kv broadside the only thing you can really see is the logo the other elements from the blueprint are still there but they're just not as noticeable in this form here is what the dual kadochis look like with gold on them basically just like like normal kadochis but with the logo showing and here's what the kv broadside from the bundle looks like with polyatomic on it this one the texture is a little more noticeable obviously so you can still see the shredder logo on there still maybe not my favorite combination but it definitely looks better than gold this is what the iso hemlock from the bundle looks like with polyatomic on it basically the same thing as gold as well uh the pattern's a little more noticeable but it's basically only the logo that you can see and it's basically the same thing here with the kadochis still look pretty decent though and this is what orion looks like on the kv broadside this is very nice mainly because i just really like how orion looks and just to make it better here on orion you can see that little armor pattern next to the logo a lot better with orion on the weapon and here's what orion looks like on the iso hemlock this is definitely my camo of choice if i were to put one onto these just because the texture is a lot more visible here but still i think you might be better just going default and here's the dual kadochis with orion on them same thing as the hemlock basically only the logo and a little bit more of the texture is visible and just as a bonus i put a solid color camo here on the iso hemlock and it looks really good with it i think you should stay away from mastery camos on these and try to put a, a a solid color camo on there i looked at the slate black solid color camo on it and it basically looked like the same way the blueprint already looks but the white on this really accent those colors well like you can see all the little details of the bundle while keeping all those secondary colors like the gold and the red still on there and the kadochis look really nice with a solid color white on there too it, it just brings out that red a lot more all right this is what the m4 looks like from the ghost bundle with no camos on it it's definitely not as gold as i thought it would be but it still looks really really good that skull's the huge feature here and when you inspect on it you can definitely see it holding it in your hand you can't really tell there's a skull there. And then aiming down sights, it's basically like a normal M4. So kind of underwhelming here. This is what the Tempest Torrent looks like. And this is really nice as well. Obviously the skull, biggest selling point for me. And you can see a little bit here when you're holding it, but not really. Honestly, I'm very underwhelmed with the weapons in this. I thought it was going to be the best part about the bundle, but kind of underwhelming unless you're inspecting it. And this is the finishing move that came with the bundle. Let's check it out. Okay, shoot out the legs and then stomping on their throat. That's a little brutal, but not a bad finishing move. Just not very flashy. Now let's check out the tracers. It has a little bit of a gold mark that kind of sparks out on impact. Looks pretty nice. That's probably the most flashy part about the weapon. Now let's see the death animation. Ooh, it leaves a little ghost there, like the Call of Duty ghost logo. 
That's pretty nice. And the tracers on the M4 here are the same as the Tempest Torret. And I'm pretty sure the death animation is also the same. Yeah, it's a, it's a puff of black and gold smoke with a gold ghost logo on it. This is what the M4 looks like with gold on it. Kind of dilutes away from the entire blueprint. Like I said before, you can't even really tell that there's a skull on there just holding it in your hands. And I thought it'd look a little better with gold on it. And it definitely does, but you can't really see it too much outside of the rest of the gun because it's just all solid gold. And it's basically the same thing here with gold on the Tempest Torrent. Not that crazy of a blueprint in retrospect but if you like the little skull and you inspect your weapons a lot maybe it's for you this is what the m4 looks like with polyatomic on it this one's a little bit better uh polyatomic did just get an update where the camo actually moves now and it's a little more noticeable on this weapon but it's not anything too crazy actually it looks like in the end spec polyatomic doesn't move at all it only moves when you're holding it still that's really weird Oh, no, I guess it does move a little bit, but it still has the same issues as the other. You can't really tell that it's a blueprint very much. This is what Polyatomic looks like on the Tempest Torrent. Still basically the same thing as the M4. Not that noticeable. Hardly can even tell it's a blueprint. A Riot, on the other hand, looks really, really good on this M4. It turns the skull all black, which is nice. It accents it perfectly and it makes it a little better to see that it's actually a blueprint and there's a more of a break between the orion camo and with the black accent that really makes the gun look a lot better and this is the tempest with orion on it the skull looks so much better on this one than it does with the other camos i like this a lot this is a pretty decent combination and here's it with a solid color camo i chose the white one i think it accents the gold really really nice this really shows out the blueprint a lot better than the masteries do it has the full skull and everything still in that golden color while just changing the rest of the weapon and i just think it looks beautiful this way and this is what the tempest torrent looks like with a solid color white camo this is just great you can see on the sides those little lines going on the side the golden lines show up great here while still keeping that gold color like the m4 on the skull in all the middle part of the receiver it's just a really good pairing anyways those are two of the coolest bundles at least in my opinion that i saw in the store thought we should check them both out at the same time and now i pass off the opinion on to you what bundle do you guys think is better the ghost bundle or the shredder bundle personally i think the ghost operator looks cooler but the effects from the shredder bundle are just bar none those are amazing but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i appreciate you guys watching showing some love and support to the channel it truly means the most to me and uh, i'll see you guys next time later